I was at work and felt a little dizzy. Didn't really think anything of it. And the next thing I remember is waking up in the nurse's office. They brought me in, I saw the doctor, did some blood work, um, assessed me, summed it up to having an anxiety attack. I had gone to bed when I got home and woke up at some point in the evening. And when I woke up, I couldn't see everything. I had a CT scan here in Fort Francis. Eventually, the doctor came back and said, you know, you, we have to fly you to Thunder Bay. I had a CT there right away and um, an MRI. The neurologist came in and she said to me, you have a clot in the, uh, basically the artery in the apex where the blood flows to your eyes. And then that's why you can't see. So my husband was kind of helping me because I couldn't see really to eat much. So um, he loves pepper. So he put pepper on my food. <laughs> I ate and as I was eating, I sneezed. And when I opened my eyes, I could see. If Riverside had the CT that they needed here to be able to detect those very small, you know, clots or blockages, then likely I wouldn't have gone through all of that. I just found as we age that we develop health issues that require medical attention. And one of those is uh, definitely the diagnostic imaging uh, here at La Verandry Hospital. I had shoulder issues and I had to travel to uh, Thunder Bay in January, which uh, as you can appreciate is a great inconvenience because of weather, uh, the, the delay, the time. Uh, it meant a two night stay in Thunder Bay. And uh, as I say, the weather is always unsure. So it's, it's really great to have the other services available here in Fort Francis. And I think it's like anything else in life, all of this stuff has a, has a, has a shelf life and eventually has to be replaced. And I think that the digital system will give doctors a quicker and a better read in terms of uh, your issues and require and whatever is required as a follow-up to, to get you back on the road to health. I have been a user of our fabulous healthcare system too many times. About 15 years ago, I was, had a incident skiing um, down in Boava with my family and I came home and didn't realize it uh, but I had started a, a, a brain bleed um, three weeks later with pain to the point I went into Emerge and Emerge immediately sent me to uh, Kenora for a CAT scan. Um, Upon arrival in Kenora, it was very quickly deemed a, a, a difficult problem, and I was immediately sent to the um, Health Science Centre in Winnipeg, uh, where an MRI was done. Um, brain bleed was determined, and I was admitted. Subsequently to that, I I was out of commission and off for for um, almost eight months. After that, seven years ago, I was diagnosed with prostate cancer, um, initial work being done in Fort Francis, and fortunately moved on to uh, clinical studies in Hamilton where I'm being cared with, with the most advanced technology and treatments available. If you can get your head around giving before you need it, it's a bit of a comforting feeling to know that you've been involved in helping a lot of people for your time or your need. Being able to provide patient care close to home is not only important for our employees and their families, but for the district as a whole. Having to travel to receive medical care adds stress and cost to the family and also means time away from work. As an employer, we want to support the medical needs of our employees and their families, which is beneficial to our operations and in turn beneficial to the district as a whole. 
the diagnostic imaging department is an essential link between the diagnosis and treatment of many people in our community and surrounding areas. We provide various imaging modalities such as ultrasound, CT, mammogram, x-ray and more. With the healthcare continuously evolving, it is essential that our diagnostic imaging equipment is upgraded to meet these advancements. Having access to this equipment is a valued service to our community. At some point in time, you or a loved one will need diagnostic imaging services. The difference of a few hours could significantly alter the management of a patient care. We deserve the best treatment possible, so let's all work together to keep our care close to home. I think with, um, with diagnostic imaging equipment, and a CT scanner specifically. Um, you need the on-demand access because a lot of questions we need answered for patient care have a bit of a time limit. It's a very widely applicable tool that can potentially benefit a lot of people. It's also a really essential part of being able to provide high quality medicine. Our diagnostic imaging department is in need of multiple upgrades. Thanks to the generosity of our donors, we've already been able to replace two ultrasound machines at the cost of $250,000, but at this point, more needs to be done. In order to keep high quality health care close to home, the Riverside Foundation has launched Picture This, a $1.5 million capital campaign to raise funds for the replacement of the CT scanner, the replacement of the digital mammography machine, the purchase of an elevating table for the fluoroscopy room, and the upgrade of our x-ray rooms from analog to digital. Both the CT scanner and the digital mammography machine have reached their useful end of life. What that means is that the manufacturer can no longer provide software upgrades for it and cannot guarantee parts replacements should something break down. Residents of the Rainy River District have always been so supportive of the foundation. We are asking once again that they dig deep and give generously to the Picture This campaign.